Welcome to another virtual improv teen show with the LA Connection players. We're now live on YouTube. It's a big breakthrough for us all, and we're very excited to be able to go right into your homes live now so all your family and friends can watch you. I'm Ken Scove, host of uh, the show along with John Darden. I founded the LA Connection back in 1977. We're still going strong, and we have a great cast today. Let's go over who our cast is first with John, my co-host today. Hey, I'm in your home. <laughs> and you're live. And now Gloria. Hello. And Chloe. Hi. Sebastian. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Eddie. Okay. Martha. Hola, niños. <laughs> Cringy Minji. Hey there. And uh, Yoni. Yoni. Hi. No, yeah, Yoni. Hi. Yoni, like Tony, but Yoni. And Lyra. Hello. And finally, Justin. He's been with the group since birth. Hello. <laughs> All right, John, we got a great show today. Why don't you tell everybody what we're going to be playing today so they can get excited and stay with the whole show. Okay, guys, get it, get excited. Uh, don't touch your dial. Um, we got such bangers coming up as Audition, Podcast, Translator. Uh, we got a Poetry Slam. We got a press conference. Uh, we even may see a lounge singer perform. It's, it's going to be quite a show. I'd stick around. So the first game, John, is you're going to be teaching a science uh, class. It's their first day on Zoom with you. And uh, since everybody's locked down all over the country, the only way we can have your class is on Zoom. And um, a lot of these Zoom meetings are really virtually very bad. So I, I wish you all the best of luck, John, in your first uh, virtual science class with all your new students. And I'll be watching from the principal's office, okay? Uh, your class can now begin about science, John. Okay, great. Everybody can stay on for this game, the For Bad Science Zoom, and I will re-enter this as the teacher coming in. Hey! Hey, everybody. Welcome. I'm Mr. John. Uh, you're here for science class, right? Thumbs up if you're here for science class. Can I see those thumbs? One thumb. Thumb down. A lot of th okay, a lot of thumbs down. A lot of thumbs down. This is a, we're not Siskel and Ebert. You don't need to be uh, I don't need a review here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a movie. Um, great. Well, welcome. And I think the first thing we should do before we get into the science, which will be fun. Uh, don't listen to those people say it isn't fun. Let's go around and just introduce ourselves. So I'm seeing a uh, Yoni. Yoni, why don't you introduce yourself first? Okay, you're still. I can't tell if you're frozen or you're catatonic. Um, Yoni? Oh, wait, you smiled. Hey, oh, hey, Yoni. Are you, would you like to tell the class? I was trying, I was trying to play a joke. I, I was like, as you get, I was pretending to be frozen. Okay, good one, Yoni. You think it was funny? I think it. Can, you can workshop it. I um, thought it was very original. I came up with it all by myself. You can see me, right? Yeah, you don't have to like get up close, like I like your the view, like you're you're nestling up to my nose. Well, um, I don't. I don't know. I wouldn't want to deprive you of the view of okay. my okay, eyeball. Like a, this looks like the view an optometrist optometrist would get. Let me go to Chloe. Chloe. Um, maybe you could just say hello, uh, anything you're looking forward to in science class. Okay. You're going in and out. It's you, that doesn't happen accidentally. You must've been, you, are you just clicking mute over and over again? What? Okay. You're, this is like when I call a girl and she pretends like it's bad reception. Let's go to Sebastian. Are you there? Sebastian? Hi. 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 You heard about that? Yeah, I, I, well, I heard, I heard what you said. I just don't understand it. Are you? 
Oh, I think my I think my um my 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 audio is is uh screwy. Oh my lord! It sounds like you're uh like a new Mr. Bean character. Uh, let's let's go to Martha. Martha, are you there? Martha. Okay, it looks like you're. Is that soup? Is that broth? Is that? It's early. I forgot to eat breakfast. All right. Yeah, it's no big deal, Martha. I'm just asking. I, was, Ma I'm just... I will not walk the dog. I have class. No, my boyfriend is not over. No, he is not in the same class. Parents. Yeah, yeah. Well, they just don't understand, right? Tell me about it, right? Okay, is Yoni uh, your boyfriend? Seriously. Right. Stop, Sebastian. No, Sebastian. Yo Yoni, back, back. Uh, thank you, Martha. Enjoy your cereal. Uh, if you want to yell at your mother, please just mute yourself. Let's go to Gloria. Gloria, how are you? Um, I was better before I had to be oh. here. But um, I have a little song I actually wrote you. You want to hear it? You wrote me. Okay. There are a whole lot of things that I hate in the world, but nothing that I hate more than science. Oh, I hate science. I wish I could be in bed, but instead I'm here with science. This is very weird. Okay, well, I, well I'm, I commend what? your music. Oh, I'm gone! No! No, it's not. Okay, science. Oh, I hate science. Why? Why do you do this? this no! Is, this nothing's was a, happening! Ma nothing bad! Martha? Martha? Right. Martha? Just let me go to class! Martha, if I, Chloe, we can't we can't understand you. Martha, if you want to have a fight with your mom, please meet yourself. Gloria, nice song, but we're in a science class. I don't know how you wrote that song so quickly. Guys, come on. All right, Martha, please, if you want to Martha, if you want to fight with your family, up on me. Do it silently like we had to do in my generation. Lyra, are you there? Yeah, Lyra? Oh, yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you uh anything you're looking forward to learning in science class? Hold on, John. There's a there's a fly in here somewhere. Okay, well, unless you're unless you're uh, Jeff Goldblum in a 1980s movie, I don't think it's that Why depressing. Why do you do this a... every single time? Come on. Why? Well, it's maybe. An argument. Yeah, this Why is a do good. Why do this to me? Mar right. Martha. The class. Martha. Can Martha. I'm gone. I can't find the dog anywhere. I'm actually very. Yeah. The problem. Good. Uh, Sebastian, I think you're putting in your passwords. I think you're putting in your okay. passwords in the chat. Uh, Lyra, Lyra, let it live. We're going to dissect yeah. many creatures. Uh, Martha, everyone, we're going to dissect. Why would I want to let a creature live? That's stupid. Why? All right. I'm going to. It is Good. way. Good. Martha, 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 I'm siding with your mother. Okay. I think she, I don't even know what's going on, but I think she's in the right here. Mute yourself. Lyra, mute yourself. Let's go to our final three people in class. Justin, um, are you there? Look for me in his way. Hi. Uh, I'm, I'm there. I'm okay. here. Uh, Don't my talk to me. What is my way? Light. You know, it's a bit dark down no. in my cellar. No. Uh, I've been experimenting with science of my own with uh, subjects and light exposure. Okay. So you're doing your, well, that's, hey, this is cool. We got a yeah. kid who's already doing science. And how long have you been depriving yourself of light? Oh, not just myself, but of uh, several other subjects as well for a couple months on end. What do you mean by subjects? Uh, well, you know, I started small with, you know, some gerbils and hamsters, and then I decided to be a bit more technical and use humans. How? Well, you know, I just you know used a couple of my friends and i thought you know i gotta get my hands on a couple of grown adults as well so i thought maybe i'd come here and find a few okay well that you're not gonna no sebastian do I'm not volunteer put your hand down lira no thumbs up you, you don't know he's, uh, he's you don't know what he's you guys have never seen a uh, girl with a dragon tattoo you never seen silence of the lambs i know you never seen love actually which doesn't have anybody in a cellar but love that's how love makes you feel uh, uh mute Mute, Justin. Let's go to Menji. Menji, I see you. Like, Chloe, Chloe, I can't under you're, you're muting yourself. Menji, you're on your phone. Are you there? 
I think Sebastian. I think Sebastian died. Sebastian's dead. Yeah, I know this class is boring. You're boring. Uh, no, never mind. Ninja, 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 stop! You're you're just. I, I, I can, uh, ninja, no, no, no. All right, let's go to Eddie. Eddie, you're the last person. Just yeah, introduce yeah. yourself, please. <laughs> you're not gonna believe this, dude. I, I'm, in, I'm in my science class right now, right? I know Eddie? we're playing RuneScape. I'm in my science class right now. And the class is basically an open rebellion of this guy. I, I almost feel bad for him, my science teacher. He's just, uh, I mean, he, he's a good guy. But... Uh, John, can you see the I can't There's some photo in the class. He's doing like experimentations of some crap. And everybody's just a freaking weirdo in this class. I want a school transfer, dude. Like, here, come on. Help me find we're gonna go fishing. Gonna learn about yeah, this is Principal uh, Jenkins. We're uh, looking uh, in on that uh, class right now. You all better start behaving. Uh, John, you're not tenured. Uh, you're fired. This has been our virtually bad Zoom meeting. All right, John, we're moving on. Get control. <laughs> okay, I'm traumatized, and I know they were acting, and I'm still traumatized. Uh, uh, Way to go. You guys are very good at being disrespectful. I am, uh, I feel it in my bones. Uh, <laughs> let's go to our next game. It's called Podcast Kent. Uh, we got four people it's Chloe, uh, Martha, Sebastian, and Justin. So everybody else can minimize except for Chloe, Martha, Sebastian, and Justin. Um, and well, John, uh, and today's we'll theme is going to be about the holidays since it is almost Christmas and we just Hanukkah's been nearby and Thanksgiving and New Year's Eve. So why don't we make the theme holidays? Back to you, John. I think that's great. So this is a holiday themed podcast and we're all going to stay on video for this podcast. Um, but the two guests can minimize until they come on. So let's have two people minimize as guests and two people stay on as hosts. Great. Sebastian and Martha are going to be our hosts for this holiday-themed podcast. Uh, you guys give us an intro and then bring out and set up your two guests. Uh, you come up with the name of your own podcast, holiday-themed. Take it away. Let's listen to the podcast. Why, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Holidays. I am Miss Holly, and may I welcome in my co-host, Sebastian. Hi, everybody. Uh, happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa, yes, very much. <sighs> so many beautiful holidays this winter. It is amazing that this can happen once a year. I know, it's very beautiful, very beautiful. Kids throwing snowballs, parents drinking eggnog. It's, uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year, very much so. And so much champagne during New Year's. Yes, very much. You uh, you, you do not want to know how many bottles I drank last year. Um. That's why I got pulled over many times. I remember I was the passenger in the car. Oh, yeah. I remember that day. Uh, sorry. Sorry you had to go through that. Uh, yeah. 20 but, times. Uh, Santa's uh, naughty list. Huh? You're on the police's naughty list, not just Santa's. Oh, yeah. The FBI, too. But anyway, um, welcome to our podcast. And today we'll be interviewing many different holiday people. So I know we know about Santa Claus and Rudolph and Frosty, but there's some people that you don't know about. So let's bring them out, shall we? May we have our first guest? Uh, well, podcast. Hello. Welcome on, my good sir. What yeah, is this is a holiday. Saying? This is a holiday podcast, right? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I, I've, I've been listening to you guys. For a really long time and you guys have really helped me get out of this psychological turmoil that i've been going through lately you know uh you know i i've I rec i'm a recent divorcee and if i ever want to get my kid back i got to give him a good christmas better than that witch of his mom and i was really hoping that i could come on here to get a few tips oh well there's many tips many tips there are so many tips. Like you always put bulbs that have beautiful emotions behind them, like a divorce or a marriage bulb, right in the middle of the tree. Right in the middle. Yes. Right in the middle. And uh, you know, as of now, I'm you know, I'm kind of in a small apartment, and the the tree in question isn't is a bit too big to fit through the door, and I'm wondering how do I get around that? I want to really make my kid happy. 
Well, the best thing to do is sometimes you need to sacrifice your glass. So just throw the tree in the window to save some time. Um, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you have a balcony? Because you can use that as well. Yeah, I've, I've stood on that balcony many, many times over the years wondering what I should do and whether I should do it. On the balcony and maybe also the kid. Okay. You know, I this has really helped me. You know, you guys are so inspiring. Hey, that's what we do. That's what we do. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Well, let's bring out our next guest, shall we? Let's see a magnificent person. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome Hi. in, my dear lady. You know, is this what you do with holiday-related problems? Yes, we yes. do. Well, I was wondering, how do you make things look more bad? Like, my house kind of looks like there's blood spattered all over the walls. I want to make it more Christmassy instead of murdery. I hmm. mean, you already have a lot of red, so just add green. Exactly. Like, like, what color, like, how, where do I get this green? Simple. Lick the red. Exactly. Let you the guys really out. are amazing. You guys seriously out here? Hey, hey, that's okay. Thank you, but we don't really want anyone getting this emotional on our podcast. Exactly. The last guy who did that, he was with us in... The champagne incident car. Yes, he was uh, in the back of the car. Would you like me to Poor Rob. Would you like me to get rid of him for you? Oh, well, no. Uh, the police got him. Yeah. We, we tried, though. We, we, we tried a lot. Um, yes. But is that all? Is that all you need? Is that, that are... all, my amazing woman? Okay. Well, have a very bloody Christmas. Have a bloody good one. All right. Well, I guess this is our podcast. And remember, kids and grown-ups all, Santa is good, but Krampus is better. Thank you. Welcome back to Holidays, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, that was podcast. Thinly Veiled is a murder murder podcast as a holiday podcast. Um, they really should just stuck to the murder theme, but they... They, they keep trying to shoehorn the holidays in there, and it just, it's false advertising, frankly. Well, John, Never your next game is going to be a Piano game. Man. Oh, Piano, oh. they're still here, these two podcasters. Piano Man, uh, <laughs> and they have to make up songs, John. And uh, here's the title of the song I'm going to give you, I Am In Love With Myself. Oh, great. Well, okay. this is a perfect song for me. I'm going to go to... Uh, Gloria, Yoni, and Lyra come on out. Um, so this game is quite simple. Uh, I tried to invent a game in which I could sing because I thought, you know, people would write into me. They said, John, we love the teen show, but why aren't you participating more? And why aren't you singing? And so I thought, well, I guess I could try and force a, an opportunity for that. So I'm going to be singing a song, and it's called I Am In Love With Myself. Is that right, Kent? That is correct, John. Okay, now I am in uh, these love three people... Myself. These three people are going to be the audience members in a coffee shop. And I'm going to be with my acoustic guitar singing the song I Am In Love With Myself. And this game is called Piano Man. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for um, uh, sticking around. And I just have one more song. It's called I Am In Love With Myself. There's a guy who I look in the mirror and see this guy in the mirror. What are you talking about? That's me. I'm the guy in your mirror. Shoot. Okay. Uh, hey, you guys I'm, keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. But the guy, I'm the guy in the mirror is me. I'm talking about myself. You realize that, right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sure. Forget I said okay. anything. No worries. No worries. Okay, everybody, get your coffees. Take a seat. Because the guy in the mirror is me. You see, my mom loved me like only a mother can. She said, you can do anything if you take my hand. And hey, hey, that's, that's about me.
You heard my story because it made it to the news. My mother and I were in a tragic incident. We were attacked by a dolphin. The only reason we survived is because I took her hand. The dolphin snapped it right there. And I just had her hand, but we're both okay. But that is cruel, making a profit off of my traumatic incident. That's a horrific story. I'm just, I'm talking about my mother. It was not, that, that's not about the dolphin. That's just about my mom. I'm sorry, guys. Um, let me just, you guys are going to like this song, okay? Um, there was a mystery woman on the subway, and she glanced over I at me. No, stop. This is clearly about me. I ride subways every single day. You cannot just sing a song about me riding subways. No. There's a lot. I've, I've never seen you before in my life, ma'am. There's a lot of people in the subway. I didn't, I, this is not in reference to you. Sure. You're, sure. You guys are going to like the second verse, okay? Mm-hmm. Because you got to love yourself if you can love anyone. And that's just the way it is. We got mountains and valleys and rivers and hills. And that's how you find your friends. Oh, I got, I think... Oh, are you referring to that short period of time where I spiritually spent time as a mountain? No, I don't know you. I don't, what, no. <laughs> and so I went well, you outside. You heard about me on the, on the you I, know, Everest. I that don't. That was me. I, you'll, no? No, I've never heard of you, okay? Yeah. I, no big whoop, whatever. Don't worry about it. For a thousand years, I waited for you to come home. And you or me? Oh, oh, oh! I think, I think. Are you, are you talking about me? Yes. No. My, my, my friend's aunt's um, uncle's grandma's dog just bought a new dog house. Yes. How does that, that relate to what I said? I, I said a th I waited a thousand years. Home. To and my friend's aunt's or son's dog, they just bought a new home for themselves. Can I finish my song? No. Because I looked at a cloud and the wind was blowing. Hey, hey, that was a personal moment between me and the sky. I was looking at the clouds, contemplating my life, and I had an epiphany. You can't just write all your music about my life experiences. That was a very personal moment, and you're exploiting it. You're exploitative. That's what you are. Okay, fine. This song is about all of you. <laughs> I just brought you here to, sh to see it. Okay, it's terrible. That's Piano Man. That's Piano Man. Good job. We created a new game. I think it worked. Uh, what's next, Kent? We have translators. Wouldn't it be interesting to be able to hear someone from a different language and we have someone who can translate to say what they're thinking? And I gave you uh, the topic today is snow, since it's snowing in a lot of parts of the United States. Their topic will be snow and they can talk about anything they want. Back to you, John. Okay, fantastic. And maybe I should just do all the intros just like this. Uh, so let's get Minji and Eddie out here. Eddie is going to be speaking gibberish. And Minji is going to be translating that gibberish into English. And Eddie is going to be giving a lecture on snow, which is a form of water and ice, as we all know. <laughs> uh, take it away. This is translator. And kuka and urecto in chumbam bigongangufa. Welcome to my lecture about snow. Uh, very nice to have you guys all. Um, so let's continue. Uh, the lecturer seems to have some mic issues. Eshu krishka. Amun ang krinku a duba duba du e shungbai wing wang. Sorry, that was my fault. So, anyways, we're gonna talk about that snow, snow, snow that comes down from the sky and how interesting it is. And chu a kruka a wing wang a tu a shu 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 and a we wang u kang kung ka shungbai tapa. So you could do a lot of things during the snow season, like uh, running through the snow and trying to race your friends, or there's like a big uh, platter of food that you could eat with candy canes and such. And ka a chung a mm mm and ishum a kung kang ishum kaklum kiam kia. 
Uh, make sure you don't break your tooth uh, when you bite the candy cane. Uh, that happened to me once. Uh, but anyways, it was mm, still delicious. And kung crisscross on a kuka ring kung 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 shriba. Oh, oh my God! There was this one time I was at my cousin's house, and and then uh, we had to go ahead and um, go to the dentist because our cousin just lost all his teeth. But tapa tupa chung kung, I do a shribu and a leg gagu and a ufa. But besides that, you know, um, snow is pretty fun, and I do lectures about it like this, and waste all your guys' time. And u uh, very good, I do a shumba luba duba. <laughs> I'm a pretty good lecturer, and uh, that was two hundred bucks right there. I do a new boo boo and ukilu agoga gaga fubo do. So just make sure you go ahead and. Put this、uh, story on Instagram, and then I'll get more famous. Okay, and、we'll uh, <laughs> just and、uh, thank you.、Uh, okay, good job. That's gibberish. That's our translator. Eddie was <laughs> cracking himself up with his gibberish.、Um, I learned a lot about the holidays. I learned a lot about snow. Kent, it's a, it's always a pleasure to see something translated. Yeah, well, yeah, we got a little oompa loompa in there, if you notice, and a little poopa doopa,、mm-hmm. and a little googa gaga. It was just amazing、yeah. that his his speech of the English language, you know, every every teenager has to get the poopy word in there. Okay, John, the next game is audition. Okay, so this is gonna be a cast piece. I know you're the casting director today, John, looking for、uh, someone to get these roles.、Uh, I've I've got a new script that just came in. It's called The Moon Is Missing. It's a、uh, Warner Brothers feature, and we're looking to cast some teenagers、uh, who will be part of the movie "The Moon Is Missing." So I'm going to let you open up your casting director room and、uh, audition these kids. Back to you, John. Okay, cool.、Uh, so this movie is called "The Moon Is Missing."、Um, I'm I'm seeing anybody who signed up. Did somebody sign up first? Who wants to audition first for "The Moon Is Missing"? Uh, yeah, let's go to Yoni and then Gloria. Hi, I'm Yoni Marion,、uh, and I'll be auditioning for the Sun in the movie The Moon Is Missing. <clears throat>、uh, would you mind if I stood up for this? I don't mind at all. Okay, cool. All right. <sighs> hey, Moon. What's? Hey, yo! What the hell? Where's the Moon? Who took the moon? Guys, the moon is gone. Who took the freaking moon? Put the moon back, dude. Guys, we lost the moon. Guys, they took the moon. Thank you. Wow, that was incredible! I felt the same way as I felt when I first saw a young Leonardo DiCaprio audition here.、Um, amazing commitment!、Um, uh, you're a, a leading contender for the Sun.、Uh, Gloria, would you like to audition for The Moon Is Missing? I would. So, hi, my name is Gloria Freyer, and I am auditioning for the role of the little boy in DreamWorks who sits on the moon. Oh yeah, of course. We're going to need that.、Uh, it's a Warner Brothers DreamWorks collaboration. So, it's a collaboration. So- Yeah, go ahead.、Yes. Okay. You were my best friend, and now you're gone. I used to fish on you. I sat on you. I I laughed. I laughed with you. And now I'm falling, falling from so high, and I don't know when I'll hit the ground. How am I gonna catch my fish? How am I gonna make memories without the moon? I miss you. And I hope you come back. Thank you. Wow,、uh, <laughs> that was incredible.、Um, I guess, honestly, it just makes me think of a lot of people I've abandoned、um, over the years.、Uh, let's go to Martha. Hi, my name is Martha Grant, and I'm auditioning for the role of the Moon. Brave. May I stand up for this? 
Yes. Thank you. Okay, now I, I, uh, I noticed that you were off camera for most of the moon, right? I was missing. Wow. Oh my God, I get it now. <laughs> I get it now. Oh man. Well, we do. We need somebody to portray not just the moon when it exists, but the moon when it's missing. And, and I, your acting was so good. I actually thought you were missing and I'm sold. Um, let's go to, we've got everybody here is lining up. So uh, everyone's going to get to audition. Let's go to Lyra first. Hi, my name is Lyra Sages, and I will be auditioning for the role of the dog or wolf who howls at the moon. Great. Whenever you're ready. Where, where did the moon go? Now what do I howl at? Oh, oh well, I guess my howl still works even though there's no moon there. But the moon's gone. Thank you. Wow, that was incredible dog acting and uh, a distinctive howl. I like the dog voice. Um, great. Let's go to Sebastian. Uh, hi, my name is Sebastian Sloan, and I'll be auditioning for the tides that can are no longer controlled by the moon, so the waves. Uh huh. Dead. Like, oh my God, man, like, I can't move at all, man. Like, you're just, like, not there, so I'm just, like, sitting here, like, in the beach. Like, come on, man, where are you? I need to move around, man. I'm trying to get closer to the people, man. I'm trying to see that girl right there, but now I can't because I'm all the way over here. I, I can't move, man. Where, where you at, man? Come on, man. Dead, man. Scene. Sebastian, that's very good now. We have already cast someone as the Pacific Coast Waves. If we asked you to read for the East Coast Waves, what would your take be? Um, sure. I'll try to think of a uh, New York Harbor. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Matt. Hey, where you at, Matt? Hey, hey, look. Yeah, I ain't moving. Okay, you got. You got to let me move. All right. Hey, well, you gonna move me? You gonna move me? Where you at? Uh, forget about it, man. I'm a sugar, man. Oy vey. <laughs> That's right. There are Jewish waves. Um, let's go to Minji. Good. Hi, I'm Minji, and I'll be auditioning for the person who stole the moon. <gasps> Thank you. Um, ha ha ha! I stole you. Jeez, you're really, you're really heavy. What you eat last night? KFC, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. Uh, what you have the, the KFC, sorry, the drive is gonna be a long, long way. Um, Minji, can I jump in here? This is great. I'm just thinking, I talked to the director. He wants this villain to be really sort of like hyper and maniacal, like Eddie after he's had like 12 Mountain Dews, you know? Um, so if you could just like, if you could be really hyped up and kind of manic, would you give us another read? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> <laughs> I stole you, get wrecked. Oh my God, you have no idea how easy that was. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so you were like, you weren't even hiding, my guy. Like, you tried to hide behind us clouds. Like, oh my God, what you even have for dinner last night? Like, you're huge. And also, not to mention, when I stole you, damn boy, you got some pounds. I mean, like, how? What you eat? Like, I need to get on some of that. That's some really good food that you're eating there. Oh my god, people are gonna be like, ah, you stole the moon? I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, that was me. Okay, great. That was an amazing adjustment. And uh, luckily the moon can uh, lose weight and become a crescent moon at any time. So we don't feel too bad about shaming the moon at this moment during its full stage. Um, and that was a that was so eddy. I mean, so good. Uh, let's go to Chloe. Um, Hello, my name is Chloe Brown, and I'll be playing the place of Neil Armstrong. Oh, wow. I took a step. 
I took a step on this moon. It was a step for mankind. But now it's gone. What do we do? What do we do? I took a leap. I touched the moon. What? What do I have to do? Do I have to touch Pluto now? Man. This sucks. Great. And Chloe, can you give the one small step for man line? It was. One small step for man, and it was a step that didn't last. Wow, that was exactly that was it. That was it. That's we can't use the real line because it's copyrighted. NASA NASA put a copyright on it and trademarked it. Cold as ice. Um, has anybody not gone? Raise your hand if you have not gotten to audition. Yeah, uh, let's go to uh, Eddie and then Justin. Thank you for being patient. Uh, hey John, you know my my ears were kind of burning a couple of minutes ago in the lobby. <laughs> I mean. Were you, were you like talking about me or am I like getting the flu or something? Like what's, uh, no, you're, I'm, you I was talking about you, but there's a good chance you're sick as well. Okay. Then, uh, telling it like it is, I guess. Um, uh, hi, uh, my name is Eddie Breslin. I'm going to be auditioning for the, uh, the know-it-all Bostonian who denies that the moon has been stolen. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, it's so freaking stupid. Like, moon hasn't been stolen all right it, it's called it's called like a new moon or something right like it happens once a month i'm sure it'll be gone in like in three days it'll be fine be back to normal yeah dude yeah let's, let's go get some donkeys yeah yeah and then we'll go drinking after sounds good man sounds good dude great i love it now uh, most people say moon how would a bostonian say moon uh well, John, this is kind of embarrassing. I'm not too sure how a Bostonian would say moon. Despite being from Boston, I can't quite think of it right now. But why don't you try and act it out? Just say the word moon as a Bostonian. Yeah, dude, have you heard this freaking crap about the moon, dude? Like, <laughs> Hey, I think that's pretty I, close. Yeah. You, gotta, yeah, you needed that lead-in, I guess, yeah. to get you there. Uh, you couldn't yeah, just say moon. Yeah. Good, Eddie, thank you. Thank you. We're going to put you on a short list. Um, we have some uh, Russian actors and some British actors who are auditioning for that role, too. Um, let's go to Got Justin. It. Hi, my name is Justin, and uh, I will be auditioning for the role of the witness who witnesses the moon being stolen. So I just saw the moon, and it was up there on the sky. And I, I just, I looked at it for a bit. It was a bit fat. And then I just saw this, this, this hideous, disgusting looking woman just pick it up and, and take it away. And I was just completely terrified out of my mind because once one moment it was there and then it was just gone. It just vanished into thin air. And I just don't know what to do with myself. Am I being paid for this? Thank you. Okay, and when, where are you from, your character? Well, you know, I, I'm taking some liberties. It doesn't really say in the script, but I'm assuming that I'm from the South, you know. Uh, seeing as uh, you seem to be the director and uh, from that uh, uh, origin, so I thought maybe it would please you if I use an accent to your liking. Okay, well, that's, you know, that's your first mistake. Don't try and please other people. As an actor, only try and please yourself. Um, you know what? I think you should direct this movie. You've got some good ideas. Um, all right, Thanks. that's audition. Uh, yay, good job, everybody. We're good. gonna make a movie. All right, John. Hey, a funny little side note. There's there was a solar eclipse, and the moon is actually missing right now. So the huh. timing of this live was absolutely amazing. So we are in your yard. Don't leave to go look at this, because we don't want to lose our audience. But that's happening right now in parts of the world. Hey, John, we're going on to four-couple switch. Uh, if you tell me who the pairs are, I'll give them a suggestion, okay? Sure. Uh, how about Martha and Gloria? Number one. Martha and Gloria. Okay, they're having a sleepover. A sleepover. Great. Second pair is going to be Sebastian and Lyra. They're having a really bad date. A terrible date. Sorry to hear that. They're number two. Uh, in our order. Number three is going to be Chloe and Yoni. Uh, they're running from the law. Okay. Surely, surely, surely. And finally, we have a three-person uh, trio. That's Eddie, Minji, and Justin. 
they're lost in the woods. Justin was going to take them out there to show them how to, you know, live naturally in the nature, and he, they're all lost now. It's getting dark. Okay, don't give Justin those circumstances. <laughs> um, so they're all lost in the woods. That's group number four. So we're going to go in order. We're going to start with group one, then group two, then group three, and then group four. And after four, we're going to go back to one. Now, each scene is going to begin with the last line of the previous scene. Um, and that's going to all start um, once we begin our first scene. Our first scene sleepover, and you're the only scene that doesn't have to start with the previous line. So sleepover is your suggestion. Martha and Gloria, begin your scene. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. Good. You know, I'm really excited to have this time to talk to you because I'm freaking out. I have the biggest crust on Jimmy. It's like paralyzing. I love him. I know. It's all the missing teeth. It's so cute. <laughs> you know oh, how his hair is hard. almost like really, really greasy. I think he's just so attractive. Didn't know you were into nerds. <laughs> nerds? Yeah. You didn't hear? He's probably the nerdiest guy to ever nerd. <laughs> I I didn't know that. Why do you think that? I mean, just look at him. Look at what he's always doing. He's always doing some sort of homework. He's always just studying. He never stops. He's always working. He's just a workaholic nerd. You know, we can disagree on this situation. It's Which, fine. We can disagree on this situation, Sebastian Lira. Look, we can disagree on this situation, but you should know that I will sleep with my dog, okay? He's gonna, if we're gonna be in the same bed, the dog is gonna have to be in the middle, okay? My puppy does not go anywhere else well with me. Yeah, but then if your dog sleeps in the middle, he's going to slobber on everything. That's disgusting. Makes it better. Look, it won't see, the dog will be better. I don't know. It's it just like, like, when you're asleep, and like out of a sudden it's just dog slobber. It feels good. I don't know why. I can't explain it. It just feels good to the dog slobber. Then sleep in the shower. Sleep in the shower. Okay. Switch. Sleep in the shower. <laughs> sleep in the shower. That was so dumb. Well why don't you I break into a place <laughs> and then fall asleep in the shower? Okay, I was the one who woke up and cooked breakfast. KFC for breakfast. I guess this is what it feels like to break you. I should have known breaking any KFC that has a shower in it is too fancy of a KFC for my blood. Why aren't you running? I am running. I'm right at the bike. Okay, 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 okay. Just listen, listen to me. All right, we got, ah, okay, we got six, we got six. Cut the fuzz, six, six people behind this. Here's what we're gonna do. When I say go, you're gonna break right um, into the dumpster. Don't worry, it's so clean. I used to sit there. You are not what? making me go into a dumpster when I just showered. Hey, you, would you rather get arrested? Well, I don't know. Would you rather get arrested? I have no idea. We can talk about this. <laughs> Wait, no, guys, just hold on one second. I'm, we're in the middle of something. Switch. Wait, hold on, guys. Wait one second. We're in the middle of something. Wait, hold on, guys. We're, we're in the middle of something. In the middle of what? I know that I said that I was going to take you both on a nice hunting expedition, but I'm forced to confess that I have ulterior motives. I wanted to come back here to perform the ritual. What ritual? What? Are you okay? This is the only way that I can bring my, my dead father back. I must choose one of you. Justin, Justin, have you been taking your schizophrenia medicine like I told you? I mean, all this, all this cult nonsense and these blood gods and... I won't take Dang your... Dang it, Eddie, I knew it. Anymore. I knew we shouldn't have joined him here. I told you. I told you he that He told me he was taking his medicine, all right? I shouldn't have believed him, okay? Switch. Look, I, just, I shouldn't have believed him. I shouldn't have believed him, okay? I shouldn't have believed him when he told me he liked me. He actually just went on a date with Jenna. Oh, the, the what jerk. a bad man. And we you thought we thought he was a nerd. Stress, pet the stress dog. Switch. Pet the stress dog. 
pet the stress dog right there. Pet it. Pet it. You gotta feel it. Pet it. No, it's disgusting. Why would I want to pet the stress dog? So you can lose stress. Just feel the dog's little head. All the fur, it makes you feel good. Switch, all the fur, it makes you feel good. All the fur, it makes you feel good. Because, you know, lots of rats die in there. No, guy, I told you, just one. I need to talk. I need, we're talking about our, our, our living spaces. Just, no, go arrest somebody else. Sorry. I know, but I feel that with the sanitary issues at jail. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. And it's not even that. I mean, what does sleeping in a dumpster really say about your dignity? Switch, I mean, what does sleeping in a dumpster really say about your dignity? And what does sleeping in a dumpster really say about your dignity? It makes okay, hey, that was just good. that one time when I was drunk. This is why we got a divorce, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and well, scene, my and, care of the schizophrenic. And scene. Poor Karen. Every... Every improviser's dream to be labeled as a drunk divorcee stuck in a trash can. They did it to their kids and they found their way. Uh, Kent, back to you. We're going to do a little uh, poetry slam now, uh, John, where uh, the first of five can do something on the gifts. Gifts. And then the second four could do something on the holiday dinner, keeping that theme alive, okay? Uh, John, take it away with your poetry slam. Okay, great. So why don't we uh, why don't we just say that the first round is going to be Justin, Minji, Eddie, Yoni, and Chloe, and they're going to be doing poems about holiday gifts. And Sebastian, Lyra, Gloria, Martha uh, uh, can minimize. Okay, raise your hand if you'd like to give our first improvised poem and our poetry slam about gifts. Yes, Minji, the dumpster girl. Thank you, John. I will now begin my poem. So this is a poem that I wrote in my third grade class. So here it is. Gift by Minji Cho. G stands, G stands for greatness. I stands for inadequate money. F stands for friends and family. And T stands for totally did not want this wine bottle opener. Okay, what an interesting poem for a third grader to write. Let's go to someone else. Gift, gift, Yoni, like Tony. This is, that's exactly it, thank you. Um, right, and uh, this poem is the one that I wrote um, three minutes ago, um, actually. So this is hot off the presses. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, today, I got a gift in a box. It was made from the fur of a fox. I'm not sure what it was he, but it, its texture was sort of fuzzy. And, and, and I put it on, it was a hat. I'm sorry, I ran out of time when I was coming in, coming out for the, the last line. And I feel like, it, you know, I feel like it kind of just ruined the whole, the flow of the whole thing. And it, it really felt like I could have gotten a rhyme there, but I didn't. Because with limericks, I mean, it's kind of, you know, really, that that's kind of what it's all about. And then, you know, I mean, when, when you... Great. I love the second half of the poem where he just rambles. I think that's very interesting. It's a, it's a very creative poem. Let's go someone else. He's still rambling. That's part of the poem is he rambles while muted and he's simulating how we're all screaming for attention, but we don't always get what we want. Uh, Chloe, much like a gift. Gifts. Sometimes they come as cards. Most of the time they're from your grandparents. And with those cards come money. You read those cards and look down at that money and say, ignore it, ignore it. But in the end, you can ignore it in a way. Wow. Wow. Wow, what a cliffhanger. This, that, that's a poem that resonates like a bell in my head. Who's next? Who would like to give a poem about gifts? Uh, Justin and then Eddie. So uh, it's, it's really long time ago, and I'm still trying to get the images out of my mind. Uh, so when I, was, when I was stuck in them trenches, 
back in uh, 1920 something or 1914 or something. I, I don't want to think about it anymore. I, I, I was just hearing the bombshells go off and just for a second, the bomb, the bombshells, they, they stopped. And I just, I didn't know what was happening. So I, I peeked my head over and I, and I don't know what's going on. So I'm just kind of waving the smoke's going everywhere. And, and the, and they just start waving back and I wave back. Right. And then they throw something at me and I, and I, and I intensively, instinctively just kind of put my hands on my, my face because I don't, I don't, I, I've been through too much. <laughs> too, too much. And then it's a suck. It's a soccer ball. And you know, I just, I peek over my head again and there's there, it's Christmas and they're, they're playing soccer. And I, for a second, I thought I must be dreaming, but, but I started playing soccer uh, with, with, with the darn, the Jerry's and we're playing soccer with them. And, and then, you know, we're just playing soccer and it was really nice. Uh, and then, you know, throughout the mud. And then I got, I, I got my gift, which was this right here. It, it's a little incendiary round that they shot at me and they, and, and they gave it to me as a gift. And that's why I'll never forget it. And it's, it's, it's going to be with me until I die. Okay, great. What a nice poem. <laughs> Uh, Thank you for taking me to the museum. I love talking to young children. Great. Chloe, why don't you get your grandfather and get him out of here? Um, Eddie, uh, our final poem or gift. Hello. I have an acrostic poem that I'd like to share with you all. It's about uh, my favorite part of Christmas. The gifts. G. Gifts. For me and you, I, I want all of the gifts. F, finally, I get to open my gifts under the T, tree. Okay, very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting delivery. A very, very halting uh, uh, and effective. Uh, very quickly, switch groups. Other group out now. Okay, great. This is about Thanksgiving dinner. These are poems about Thanksgiving dinner. I'm so excited to see them. And who wants to go first? Great. I'll have, I'll have Martha go first. Yeah. Every single time I eat that dinner, all the cupcakes seem to glimmer. I just get hungry and hungrier. But of course, time gets slower and slower. The family's talking and just chatting. Yet the dogs decide it's time for barking and going to get pets. Yet, every single time, we can all agree, we do not want to see each other next year. Wow. Wow. Sounds like uh, it's from real experience. Um, let's go to Lyra. Lyra. Um, see. Grandma, she never really makes Thanksgiving dinner. She always just makes it poof out of thin air. It, it just appears out of nowhere. Nobody ever knows where she gets the roast beef. We all think she might be a thief. And theoretically, she doesn't cook it either. It's just raw, sitting there on a spire. Thank you. Well, I was visualizing and I was, I'm tormented and scared now. Um, and I lost my appetite. Uh, Sloan, Sebastian Sloan, then Gloria. Hello, welcome. Uh, yes, so there's my poem about Thanksgiving. Mashed potatoes, stuffing, mac and cheese, cranberry. Cousin Jerry's getting fat. Aunt Josie's wearing a MAGA hat. Grandma, uh, Jenny is making all the food. Uncle Ricky is in a very dark mood. My parents took me to the house. The turkey is made out of dead mouse. The food tastes bad, but that's okay. 
I'm with my family. Hooray. Bunch of people. Very weird. Something that also rhymes with weird. I'm eating food. It's very good. I'll use the bathroom as I should. The bathroom is clogged, but that's okay. I didn't flush it anyway. Thank you. Wow. What an amazing rumination on time. Even though he was going to use the bathroom, he had already used the bathroom. Because every point in time already exists, and we're all experiencing it together. Thus, Schrodinger's toilet dropping. Go to Gloria. Bring us home, Gloria. Oh, family dinners. The best part of the year. You know, when Uncle Timothy drinks just one too many beers. And I'm so excited to catch up and talk until I realize that my cousin Connor is actually just a stupid jock. Oh, my aunts, how I love them so, but they're a lot more racist than I thought, and they're not afraid to let that show. <laughs> Turns out we like each other a lot less than we thought. But hey, at least there's turkey straight from the crock pot. Uh, wow. Thank you. Wow, Kent, what an amazing close to our show. And we also found out the girls don't like nerds or jocks. So you're just sort of like, you're, you got to really find your own way. Yeah, those last two poems were phenomenal. I guess uh, they really thought about it because it just made so much sense. And I hope that the toilet gets cleared up. So, John, I guess that's our show. Is that what you're saying, John? You want to call it right yeah. here? Okay, yeah, why not? it's our show. So we've done just about an hour. Let's bring everybody back in. And, of course, you can see this team with all the other teams on our LAC Comedy YouTube channel. We have a lot of uh, previously recorded shows with some of these guys and some other guys. We'll be doing shows again live uh, Pacific Standard Time at 1.30, 3.30, and 5.30 tomorrow, 6.30 on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So come back and see all sorts of different stuff. Tell your friends about us and uh, keep following the LA Connection Comedy Theater. So let's introduce our cast again today, my co-host, John. Great job again, John. Thank you for watching, everybody. And Minji. Tiddaloo. She's frozen in time. Oh, now she's moving a little. Yoni. Bye. And Eddie. Goodbye. Sassy. Chloe. <laughs> Justin. Bye. Martha. Adios, amigos, amigas, y personas que me gustan. All right. Translator. <laughs> Gloria. Happy holidays. Sebastian. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy End to 2020. Lyra. I hope everybody enjoys their holidays. And again, I'm Ken Scope. Thank you guys for watching. Let's all wave goodbye. You can see this up on our YouTube channel. Thanks, everybody. See you in a month with this team. <laughs>